everyone, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a really short book review today of a new release that I've really enjoyed. This is My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Grimm Jones. This is the second novel that I've read by Stephen Grimm Jones and I'm just so impressed with his writing and I can't wait to pick up everything he's written. He is quite a prolific writer and I feel like he's flown under the radar for, you know, the last couple years and now um, after The Only Good Indians and now My Heart is a Chainsaw. I mean, this has a blurb from NPR. I really think he's put his name on the map and it's well deserved and I would like to tell you about his newest book, which is My Heart is a Chainsaw. This one is so much fun and I think that this is especially fun for people who have watched a lot of horror movies, in particular slasher films, which is a genre of horror that I'm not super versed on. Like I've seen most of the classics, but our main character here, Jade, is really into slashers and she knows so many fun facts and she's seen so many obscure movies and she could just, you know, tell you a little bit about all of it. And this might not be as fun for somebody who does not like horror movies because a lot of it will just probably go right over their head. But if you're a horror aficionado, I think this is perfect for you. In My Heart is a Chainsaw, we follow our main character, Jade Daniels, who is a 17 year old from a very small town in Idaho. She's just graduating high school. She's had a rough run of it. Um, her parents are split up and they both just seem very aloof to everything that Jade is doing. It seems like she's just really left on her own. Uh, she's got a job as a custodian at her high school and her dad is an alcoholic and she's just, she's got it rough. So it makes sense that she really seeks solace and comfort in these terrible slasher films. You know, it's kind of like a religious experience for her, um, but not just that, but also uh, a soothing mechanism for her and she, yeah, she just has a rough time. But things start to look up a little bit for Jade when a new girl moves to town. Her name is Letha and she's not the only new family there. In fact, there are quite a few new families, wealthy families, because on the other side of the lake that her small town sits on, they're building this um, modernized community that is for wealthier people and the town that Jade's from doesn't really have wealthy families. So this is a big change, uh, but her town sees it as a way to make money, you know what I mean? To boost the economy. And Jade meets Letha. She's the daughter of one of these families and she is a kind, selfless, generous, attentive, beautiful, graceful young woman. And Jade immediately says, this is a final girl. Letha has, has to be a final girl. So that means that there has to be a slasher coming to our small town. And indeed there is. Uh, so, you know, Jade's trying to kind of counsel Letha, but you know, in a way that's kind of subtle. And so it's, kind of a strange dynamic that these two have going on. Um, Jade is just really obsessed with this idea that there is going to be a slasher in their town and nobody really pays attention to her because she's just a poor, strange, half native girl. This is really the plot of My Heart is a Chainsaw. It's a very character driven story. The characters drive the plot and Jade drives the plot and this book focuses mostly on Jade and what she's doing. So if you're a person who can't stand to be that intimate with one character, maybe this is not for you, but I really liked it. And I think Stephen Graham Jones just writes his characters with so much feeling. It's really hard to let go of them at the end of the book and say like, thank you for, 
sharing this part of your life with me, fictional character, and now I have to remember that you're a fictional character and I have to put this away and move on to new things. And it's really hard to do that with his books. He just has like kind of a magical touch. So that is my heart as a chainsaw. I would recommend this wholeheartedly. This is definitely one of my favorites of the year. Still, when I think about being done with Jade Daniels, it really makes me sad. So, okay, I have to stop going on and on about it, but I really would recommend this, especially if you love slasher movies or horror movies in general, if you really love a character-driven plot that has an explosive ending, um, it's got some like folklore in it, which is really fun. And um, in between chapters, there are these parts of like kind of a thesis that Jade has been writing to her history teacher about slashers, which is really fun. And she's just got such a great voice in this story. And I don't know how Jones does it. He is a magician. Anyways, that is My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones beautiful cover. I will have a link to my bookshop affiliate page in the description if you'd like to pick this up from there. Otherwise, you know, I definitely recommend any indie bookstores near you. This was a fantastic read. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye!